What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again with a week two game preview and score prediction. The Tennessee Volunteers versus the North Carolina State Wolfpack. And we're going to start out by talking about the Wolfpack, who's coming into this game with a 1-0 record. Coming off a win against Western Carolina, 38-21. I thought North Carolina State would have beat uh, Western Carolina by a larger margin, but hey, Shit happens. 17 points. I guess it's good enough for them. But guess what? North Carolina State against Western Carolina was on the struggle bus. Okay, and if you do that against Tennessee, you're going to have a long day. North Carolina State. North Carolina State against Western Kentucky was down at the half. Western Kentucky, matter of fact, they was down... After the first quarter and at the half, Western Kentucky, uh, uh, after the first quarter, it was 14-7. And then they went in the half. Matter of fact, they went in the halftime tied up. Okay, my, my bad. They went in the halftime tied up. All right. And then uh, uh, Western Kentucky went ahead in the third quarter. And Western Kentucky was leading going into the fourth, 21-17. And then uh, – North Carolina State got their act together and scored 21 points in the fourth quarter to take a 38-21 victory over Western Carolina. But like I said, if you do that against Tennessee, you're going to get blown out the water. If you don't come out fast against Tennessee, you're going to get blown out the water. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, hey, it is what it is. But as far as NC State, the quarterback, Grayson Hall, he threw for 318 yards and three touchdowns. And one interception. Why? I mean, a uh, 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 running back, Jordan Waters, 20 carries, 123 yards, two touchdowns. He's going to need that against Tennessee. Okay, you're going to need it. Um, you're going to need Jordan Waters to have a game like that if y'all expect to beat Tennessee. Then uh, wide receiver, Kevin Conception. He's a great wide receiver, I might add. Nine catches, 121 yards, three touchdowns. And you're going to need that out of Tennessee. And the only way that I see North Carolina State winning this game is to throw the ball. But because I think uh, Tennessee's secondary is the weakest part of the team. All right. I think they front seven. They legit. I can guarantee you Jordan Waters, even though he need to have the type of game he had against Western Kentucky, he's not going to have it against, uh, against Tennessee's front seven. I think uh, – uh, North Carolina State going to need to run for at least at least a hundred. I'm gonna say a hundred and at least a hundred and fifteen yards and two touchdowns on the ground to have a chance. That's just me. All right, but I think it's going to be hard for them to get that, considering the type of uh, defensive front that Tennessee has. Now I think they probably North Carolina State probably can throw on Tennessee. At will. That's just me. But this this North Carolina State offensive line is going to have to protect because Tennessee's defensive front can get after you. I'm telling you that right now. I'm telling you that right now. So if you come out like you did against Western Kentucky, North Carolina State, you're going to get blue out the water. This is a game that you cannot struggle in. I'm telling you that now. You had no business. I know it's. The, I know it was the first game, but you had no business behind at the half or tied at the half against Western Carolina. You had no business being behind in this game at all, especially going into the fourth quarter. That is ridiculous because North Carolina State got way more, way better athletes than Western. Carolina. But hey, it is what it is. You're going to have a tough task in front of you in week two, North Carolina State. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because Josh Heupel and them Tennessee Volunteers is going to come out firing on all cylinders, at least offensively. And you're going to have a tough time. All right. It just it is what it is. Talk about talk about the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee, hey. They got some. They got some guys on on that team, especially especially on the uh, on the on the offensive side of the ball. 
First year quarter, starting quarterback Nico. The guy looked, he looked nice. He looked legit. Although it was against Chattanooga. But you got to remember, he he uh, got playing time in the past. Bowl game against Clemson. I believe he, he played in another game too that he looked pretty good. But anyway, uh, even in that spring game, he looked good. Uh, I believe he completed seven or nine passes, completed seven passes in a row. But last season, he went the hell off against Chattanooga, 414. Uh, I believe he had four. Let me see what he had. Uh, he had uh, uh, Nico, 314 passing yards and three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Okay. And uh, they passed, Tennessee passed for over 400 yards. And then you got Dylan Simpson running back. 12 carries, 124 yards. He don't he he won't have to have that kind of game in order for them to beat uh, uh, North Carolina State. I don't think North Carolina State going to be able to stop Tennessee's defense. I mean offense. I don't. I really don't. That's just me. And then you got uh, Deontay Thornton for Tennessee. Three receptions, 105 yards, and two touchdowns. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. Brew McCoy coming back off an of injury, six receptions, 89 yards. Uh, Squirrel White, he only had two receptions for 22 yards. So we'll see what he do in this game, all right? I think he'll have better numbers. They'll need him more or need to call on him more in this game. So, hey, we'll see. But I'm going to tell you right now, North Carolina State, you're going to have a tough day. Uh, talking about Tennessee and in the in, in the game they had last season, they wrote, I mean last week they rolled up 718 yards of offense. 718 yards of offense. 414 through the air, 304 on the ground. That is crazy. That is crazy. And for Tennessee, they scored uh, five touchdowns rushing. You know, you you would you would think that would be passing the way Tennessee offense is set up, but they had five ru uh, rushing touchdowns and uh, three passing touchdowns. But I tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing Nico play. I'm looking forward to seeing how Nico performs against uh, a Georgia, uh, Alabama. Yeah, I don't know if they play Ole Miss or whoever they play. I'm looking forward to him playing high-caliber opponents, okay? Okay. Um, no, they don't. They play Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Oklahoma. That'll be a good test for him, which will be the first major test for Nico. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. OK, but. Tennessee and this offense, I think this offense is going to be explosive throughout the season. I think it's a high powered offense. I think they got they got the guys. Wide receivers, running backs to be a great offense. They certainly got the offensive line. They certainly got the offensive line. Like the defensive front also, like I say, the weakest part of Tennessee's team is that secondary. All right. If you can, if you got time to throw, you can eat that secondary up. And that's what North Carolina State is going to have. Can they offense, offensive line hold up to Tennessee's defensive front? I'm going to say I doubt it going by how they performed against Western Carolina. And I'm going to tell you, I got Tennessee winning this game. And I got Tennessee winning big, going off the performance of North, of, uh, North Carolina State last week against Western Carolina. So, yes, I got Tennessee beating uh, North Carolina State to go 2-0 to open up the 2024 season. In my score prediction, I feel like Tennessee can score 50, we're going to say, where were you at? We're going to say 56, 56 to 17. That's what I got. Tennessee 56, North Carolina State 17. That's my final score, and I'm sticking with it.